again. Whee! Hello! Welcome back! Hello everybody. Today we gathered up to do a little uh, video diary slash hangout slash writing corner chat about the forum leakage project. And then we ended that and we have already set ourselves up nicely in front of the camera so we figured we could talk some more on camera because mm -hmm. we haven't done these episodes in a while. We don't have a clear topic so we'll, we shall be waffle on about stuff that rustles our jimmies <laughs> and such. Indeed. Um. And as a nice distraction I have opened up our world building thing visuals to jiggle our world building muscle that we have on Pinterest where you can follow us. In the last episode we sort of touched on the whole new working method, like the whole come up with notes off mm -hmm. the first draft and the the Faint Echo Lost Calls, that that short story I quote unquote wrote the other day is not it's not written like my usual first drafts are written. Mm. It's written just in how we did the note forms for things like split personality and stuff like that. So, mm. it, so for example, uh, starts in faint echo, command center, Gatlin system, approaching target location. That's like line one. Kaliso attempted to make contact, only reaches automated systems. Uh, Novak orders her to dock. So that that small chunk there is how we did like the other stuff, like this happens, then this happens, then this mm -hmm. happens, and that's a self-contained thing. Um, I've started to write a lot of these like that, and I think um, in some instances it's easier, mm -hmm. but in other instances it sort of loses the... Um, yeah, it's like counter, uh, um, counterproductive in some ways. Mm. It's like it can lead to what I call over-outlining. Uh, this is something that I remember well from my academic paper writing time. It was <laughs> long, many years ago, when I was a wee lass in university and I had to write many an academic papers. I knew exactly what I had to say somewhere. And I had long notes that said, <coughs> then I will say that, then I will claim that, then I will conclude that, then I, s then I will say that. I had no trouble coming up with these lists of what I will say and then when you have to actually you know type the actual text saying that mm -hmm. it's like it's like making the first cut into a, uh, a warm body it's <laughs> it is it is so <laughs> it, it just it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so this is th this is this is my uh, my sort of my uh, creative struggle in a nutshell. Uh, it is very difficult for me to get started on the text, and I have noticed with certain uh, with certain drafts and certain uh, things that we go through, is that when we start sort of coming up with the points or coming up with the outline then this happens then this happens then they do this then they do that uh, at some point if you overdo this then it gets even harder to get the actual text going so at some point I try to start generating the, the fragments and the sort of like half sentence here and half a dialogue tag here and, and sort of uh, if there are actual text fragments, then it's easier for me to start bouncing them and putting them in, in their places. So I think what I'm, what I'm going to do is... I think my original intention was for us to discuss these, these bullet points, and then I was going to come up with the text based mm -hmm. on our discussions. But yeah. what I might actually do instead is use these notes that I've got and try mm -hmm. and come up with the dirty text that goes with them. Mm -hmm but have it spaced out so it's mm. obvious what the notes are and it's obvious what the dirty text is. Yeah. Or not the dirty text, but the first yeah. draft text. Another, another exploit that I have uh, come across is that when we discuss this stuff and when there's outline, then as an off-the-cuff example, I'm perfectly able uh, uh, able to uh, generate any sort of text, you know, when I 
when my brain doesn't treat it as this is the proper text, but instead, yeah, just give it, give them something for a placeholder. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the horizon was was half will. Uh, what was the thing? Uh, the the fractal swirls of the gas giant filling half the horizon shown through the dome. Bam, <laughs> easy. But if yep. I but when I sort of sat and tried to come up with an actual sentence there instead of like oh just an example. <laughs> this is actually the depiction of what happens. <laughs> there is there's a lot of uh, scratching and, uh, and, and and shuffling and um, and you know those creative montages when they're when you have a person in a room and then they sit in one corner and they sit in the other corner and then they sort of rock back and forth and then they uh, pull their hair out and then they uh, uh, then they bash their head against the wall and, and, and all that so that's exactly how it's happened <laughs> that's the process <laughs> and of course the great uh, great uh, i don't know if that's dramatic irony uh the, the great uh, twist here is that uh, once the check is text out, it's like, oh, that was easy. And <laughs> 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 um, this, uh, I I noticed that we have uh, magically slipped back into the oh, some some of these images. Different people in the same stuff also, but yeah, we have we have slipped back to the uh, to the discussion of a process. I, I knew this, and the other day I uh, I sort of mentioned how uh, when I read all sorts of um, not magical motivational. Uh, motivational tips or how to how to arrange your work day and how to c accomplish things and like this is all literally garbage to me because this does nothing it's not the text that I have problem with all my all my struggle is tied to uh, anxiety management and uh, and sort of focus management and it's it's like it's like if you're standing on a rock next to a very fast lava flow and very fast river flow and there's a there there are like several treadmills moving and what you need to do is you need to make a very well timed jump and then you can catch the right current and uh and and you know that when you don't make the jump at the exactly right moment at the exactly right angle, at the exactly right uh, momentum, then you end up in lava, and then uh, you end up I don't know fretting all day, and uh, and you still can't produce anything. So it's like uh, all the all the motivational tips probably apply to many people. Mm -hmm. They are cute. They sound <laughs> true. They are just not very helpful to me when I'm. Uh, managing these flows of chaos. <laughs> the yeah. thing I find about a lot of the, the quotes and stuff on Twitter, they make me overthink things an mm. awful lot of the time. It's like, I see one the other day, it was like, the good sci-fi author doesn't imagine the flying car, he imagines, or he doesn't imagine the car, he imagines the traffic jam, right? And then that gets into your head and you start thinking it's like oh, how, how can I apply this but that's not the right way to do it you should just write what you enjoy writing right you uh, get into the work habit yeah uh, and, and I think uh, the, the thing with such quotes is that they are said after the fact they have been said after you have already uh, thought about it and come up with a traffic jam and, and or you have enjoyed somebody's writing that has this in uh, unintended consequences and uh, and yes there is the, that technology and because of that technology uh, the society has 
developed in so so and so and so ways and also my microphone has been folded up this whole time <laughs> <laughs> I could hear you fine uh, I was I was hamming it up so I I hope it still worked yeah that sounded but good to me. Uh, maybe maybe I shall can this <laughs> and we shall start mm -hmm. another one so All right, cool. This was so. This this was our lament on on motivational quotes and and tips and all that and process. <laughs> also lava. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Yes, stay tuned for the next one, and uh, maybe I will have better lighting then. Mm. Bye.